Hello and welcome back. My name's Liam from The Basic Barista and today we're going to be talking about the Commandante C60 versus the Commandante C40. So as you know, I've been a long time user of the Commandante brand. I'm a big fan of their grinders and over the years we've been proudly selling and stocking the Commandante range of grinders as well as some of their accessories that they came out with such as the wristbands, the big Joe knobs, um, some replacement parts and uh, yeah lots of other fun stuff. So Commandante they've been in the game for quite some time They've had a little bit of controversy when it comes to some patents. However, we're not going to be talking about that. Instead, we're just going to be talking about the grinder themselves, what the actual product offers and where they stand in the market today. Now, a lot of people have mixed feelings about Commandante as a brand. Um, my experience personally, just by using these grinders, is that they offer quite a lot. So in this video, we're gonna talk a bit about the pros, the cons, and my experience using both of these grinders. Now, before we start, I just wanna acknowledge that this is a very new grinder. We've only had it for about a week and a half. The C40 we've actually had for quite some time. It would be close to a couple of years, and that's including using both the NK3, NK4, and a couple different models as well, and a couple different colors that, have, that we've gone through. Now, first off, the differences between these two grinders, as you can see, the crank is much larger on the C60, as well as the knob. Um, this is actually the upgraded Big Joe knob, black crank. So this system is larger, which actually allows you to have more leverage when you're grinding, uh, making it a lot easier to grind quicker and easier, especially on those finer grind sizes like for espresso or for Turkish coffee. Now, the second most noticeable difference between these two grinders is the weight. This comes in just under half a kilo, whereas this one is just under a kilo. It's super heavy, you really do feel it. It's probably the heaviest hand grinder that I've used personally. And yeah, the other main difference of these two grinders is this one has a wooden veneer, whereas this one is built solid from one block of stainless steel. Um, so a bit about the internals as well. The C40 has a fairly decent range. Um, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that it's 30 micron adjustment per click. Um, the C60 also uses a similar adjustment system. It is still a central axle design, meaning you've got the axle in the center connecting to the inner burr that then adjusts the grind size. So they technically, they both work the exact same. I would argue that this design is uh, outdated for 2023. However, it is part of the uh, Commandante sort of style and I guess their, their main design. Um, so yeah, while there are grinders on the market that you can purchase that I would say have better design collar adjustment, you will find that both of these grinders have axle adjustments. Just one thing to note. Um, as well as that, the burrs are very different. The C60 burrs are, as the name suggests, 60 millimeter conical burrs. Whereas the C40, I think they're just under 38 millimeters. So the size in the C60 is actually quite large and substantial for a hand grinder. In fact, it's hard to find other hand grinders that do match this and have 60 millimeter burrs. Now, when you're grinding with these grinders, Grinding with the C40, it does take a little bit longer. We grind coffee and it takes around the 30 to 45 second mark when grinding for pour over. However, when we're grinding with the C60, it's close to the 20 second mark. And once you use this grinder, you're actually left thinking, hang on, is there more? But really, it just is a fast grinder. Now, while the C40 also has these inner pieces of plastic that hold the top part of the axle, the C60 doesn't. Now this means that you've got a lot more room inside of the grinder body to actually hold coffee beans. So as you can see, the bottom jars are the same capacity. You do get a lot more room in the C60 than you do in the C40. Um, as, as well as this, it's a lot easier to see inside the grinder whether you've got any retained beans um, compared to the C40 where you're kind of looking around those top pieces. It also means that there isn't any plastic parts in the C60. Uh, body. Now, one other thing to mention about these two grinders is that this C60 has a gold clicks adjustment. That's what the that's what Commandante are calling it, and I actually really enjoy it. Um, 
It's a big knob of brass. When you're using it, however, I have noticed quite a difference um, in the way that you can fit your hands around it. I actually prefer the C40 uh, grind size adjustment piece. Even though it is plastic, it would have been nicer to see something that just sort of fits nicer when you hold it and you're adjusting your grinder. Um, when you are adjusting your grinder, because there's noticeably so many more clicks uh, per setting on the C60, you will have to go through and you are adjusting more. So to get to 20 clicks on the C40, you might look at 40, 50 clicks on the C60. I'm not sure if that's 100% correct on the grind size, um, on the grind sizes. However, it does feel noticeably a lot larger and when you are adjusting, it can just get a little bit tedious. Um, in saying that, the way around it I found is just by taking this off and when you're adjusting, holding the piece and then moving the knob. This is a super fast way to quickly get your grinder to the correct grind size. When it comes to things like disassembling for cleaning, um, everything is the same. The only difference would be the wooden veneer. So having the wooden veneer, you do have to oil your grinder. Commandante actually sell an additional wooden, uh, I believe it's just a beeswax wood balm, and this helps to protect the wooden veneer. Design speaking, um, design is quite personal. I actually appreciate both of these products. Um, I feel that the wooden design is something that's timeless. However, the C60, it does feel very uh, brutal and uh, quite a confronting sort of design. It also doesn't really fit into a lot of other coffee equipment out there. There's nothing that really looks like this. Um, in saying that, you will see that other coffee products, especially the black uh, EKG, especially stuff that's come from fellow products, they will have some wooden accents. Now, this is additional, however, it just makes your whole coffee bar look, look uniformed. So yeah, uh, grinding with this grinder in particular, we've done it for pour over, espresso, and some cupping. Um, I found that using it just day to day, it's so nice. It's such a premium feeling grinder and I don't think that takes away from the C40 at all. I really enjoy using the C40. It really has that premium build quality. It's definitely not like the C3 or other time more products or cheaper hand grinders where it just feels a little bit cheap and plasticky. Even if they have full metal pieces, the metal is thinner it just doesn't have that premium heft to it. Um, the C60 and the C40, I feel both have that um, aspect to it and make it really appealing for those reasons. When it comes to the coffee itself, I have noticed that they both have the similar taste profile classic from Comandante. Um, high acidity, uh, clean body, I've been able to achieve super clean washed coffees um, and they also do really, really good fermented coffees as well. Um, when brewing for pour over, I actually prefer the Commandante range over other grinders such as the Vario VS3. Um, and that's just because of that clarity that you can get from these. You can grind a lot finer as well, so you can really push for extraction on the C40 and C60 range. Um, now, one big component that we haven't spoken about just yet is the price. While the Commandante range, it sits around the $400 to $500 mark, the C60 range has hit us at around the $1,000 mark. So it really is a step up in price and it demands a, a much higher price for this grinder. Whether it's worth it or not, you'll have to make your own decision. Um, for me, Having this grinder on board, it just adds, as a daily driver, it just makes things feel so much more premium. Um, so far, it's been a week in, I've absolutely loved this grinder. Would I have wished it's a little bit cheaper? Obviously, yes, it would have been great if they came in at a little bit cheaper price range. However, you do get quite a bit back from that investment. As far as accessories go, we've got an unboxing video that you might be interested in of the C60 Commandante. Um, go check that out. It's basically got the, the C60 has the exact same accessories as the C40 MK3. However, the MK2 and the MK3 are different grinders. So just be mindful of that. One difference that the C60 has that the C40 doesn't have that I really, really do not like is it comes with pink polymer jar. I don't know why they've included it. It does not look 
well in this grinder. It doesn't really match anything else. Um, I think they're trying to have fun. I have this terrible inkling that maybe they were left with quite a few when they released the polymer jars and they were just like, oh cool, let's include them in this grinder. Um, it feels cheap, it feels really uh, quite tacky. However, some people might like it. I'm not one to judge, do what you want. Um, I just feel like it's a bit of a downgrade, especially considering that with the C40, you get the polymer clear jar, as well as the beautiful amber glass jars. I actually really like the amber jars. Um, having glass, it's really nice. It, it reduces your static. Um, not to say that the polymer is higher on static. Um, I just really like having the option of using both. And if you're like a normal ordinary consumer and you're just gonna, and you're probably just gonna buy one of these grinders to get a grinder and have two polymer jars where one is hot pink. It's a bit ugh, but um, yeah, you might like it. So yeah, feel free to make your uh, decision on that. So far, I've really, really been enjoying the C60 Commandante. Guys, if you've got any questions about this grinders, we plan on doing more of an in-depth uh, review on, on this grinder. Um, while we have written up a piece uh, more on the more on the on the specs of this grinder, we'll have that linked in the description. We do want to actually come out with a bit more of a solid uh, a take or a review on this grinder. So yeah, any questions would be super helpful. We'll collect them all, um, sift through them, and then we'll come out with a proper review in the next couple of days. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.